Na 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 na. Mouth. Sorry, was that me, gentlemen? Was it you? I don't know. I don't know. It may have been. It's us. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're your brothers in arms. Uh, my name is Patrick. That one over there. Wait, hold on. I got to get my directions. Yeah. The middle of us is? Greg. Hi. That's Greg. That's right. And our youngest, who is running the show tonight, is? Me. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> That's a me. <laughs> Alex. So, uh, well, good evening, everybody. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We are your brothers in arms, and it is so good to see you one day early this week. Um, we are ahead for a reason, for a purpose, because tomorrow uh, there's a bowl of supers happening. And uh, yeah, I, we're just not going to be able to properly come together. So a, a very great football team is facing off against Tom Brady tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> well, all right. That's, then. that's the game. Does does Tom Brady throw to himself? I think he does. He does? No, I think the only one in recent history that's done that was Eli Manning. Eli Manning actually threw to himself in a game. Yes. Is that is that even like, is he even legal? Allowed? Yes. Is it legal? Are you legal? Are you legal? Are you legal or are you legal? So what did he do? Did he throw it and bounce it off of somebody and pick it up? Yep. Perfect. Threw it, bounced off the defender's helmet, he picked it up, and he ran. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's okay. wild. I, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Eli Manning. That's a name I haven't said in forever. Yeah. He retired. Fascinating. Well, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Welcome. Awesome. Speaking so, of... Go ahead. Go. No, no, I was I, just going to say... I was going to say, it's it's funny, though. Like, I think we've talked about this. Everyone hates on Tom Brady. I don't like, like, he drives me up the wall. Why? Because he's too perfect. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's like, oh, why? Oh, my gosh. Why are you hating on Tom Brady? Oh, that it's like, uh, so they played against the Saints. Boy, what was it, two weeks ago or was it last week? It was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, they played against. I think I talked about this. They played against the paid or played against the Saints. Okay. And uh, Saints quarterback, uh, help me out here, kid. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Thank you, Drew Brees. I'm I'm sorry, Master Guns. Um, Drew Brees is retiring. Drew Brees. Or at least there's a good chance he's going to retire. And you know they've been playing against each other or been in the you know they've been playing football for i think i think he's been playing longer but the you know he goes out there and he he like plays catch with drew Brees's son and you know he's all uh you know just just talking to him and like being you know just being like a really nice guy <laughs> like like all of his teammates are like, you know, like, you know, he's like such is such a great player, but he's also like, you know, he wants to work with the team and he's really team oriented and he's, you know, we're all in this together kind of thing. And like, and he means it and they're all, you know, they're all really impressed by that. And it's just like, and this is why you hate him. Oh, cause he's just so stinking perfect. <laughs> It's gross. <laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> rant, rant over. I'm done. Wow. Greg, I'll tell us how you really feel, please. I'll stop. <laughs> I just find it funny that he literally picked a random team and was like, you guys want to go to the Super Bowl this year? Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey, we're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got the golden ticket. <laughs> Tom Brady, I got the golden ticket. He cracks oh, me well. up. Oh. Man, we were just coming we were just coming full circle with the uh the Willy Wonka tonight. 
<laughs> we didn't record that part earlier, man. I know. It's okay. Makes me giggle. <laughs> but, you, but you were saying, PT. Do, do Marines giggle? Yes. yes. Do they? Oh. We giggle in we giggle in five five six and seven six two. About to say, have you not been behind the fifty cal? Belt we machine also, gun. We also giggle in fifty cal and C four. Giggle. Oh man. <laughs> Noted. Okay. Very good. Fifty fifty cal is the one that really makes you giggle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Well, <laughs> As I was saying before, uh, I got so rudely interrupted by some Tom Brady hate over there. Sorry. Uh, welcome back, everybody. We are your brothers in arms. This will be episode 57. Uh, it's currently airing online as we speak on twitch.tv slash brothers in arms podcast. Uh, it is currently 926 p.m. on February the 6th. Uh, and yeah, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Uh, and that's okay because you know life happens and we're still meeting and here we go. So, uh, boys, how you doing? How's your week been? We before we um, hit the the start button on tonight's talk, uh, we were comparing weather announcements and things that are mm-hmm. going on. Uh, I got a weather story to share for this week, but uh, what's going on? I didn't go to work two days this week. Uh. Everybody cl- cover your ears just a second. Three, two, one. Shut up. <laughs> you owe Grandma a quarter. I do. Sorry, Grandma. Why didn't you go to work two days this week, homeboy? We had, sn- we had snow days. Please. You had yeah. snow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Snow, nice snow, and s- snow in northern Virginia. Um, you know... It's it's kind of a weird change coming from New York, living up there. You you, we'd pray for you know more than half a foot because we knew if we had more than half a foot at the very least, especially if it was more than half a foot early in the morning, then I I, I probably wasn't going to have to drive into work. I could work from home because I still had to work. Because I was a recruiter. <laughs> oh, but I'm sorry. The, We're talking about New York. My bad. Yeah, but at the very <laughs> least, at the very least, it meant I could stay in my pajamas and make phone calls from my couch while I was drinking coffee, instead of having to go to my office and put on a uniform and do all of that. Yeah. Fast forward. Now I live here. If it gets, if there's more than an inch of snow on the ground, everything shuts down. Everything shuts down. It is it is snowmageddon in in this part. It is so wild. It, it's hilarious, honestly. But you know, part of it is justified because the roads here are not maintained like they are up there. You know, there's a you know everyone under the sun's got a got a plow, and and the state has you know more trucks than you can shake a stick at so obviously there is some some differences in living up there and living down here but holy cow it blows my mind how quickly this place just grinds to a halt because of the snow welcome back to the south Uh, yeah that's mm, really is it really the south though Yes. Technically, it is. Oh, stop it! <laughs> we are south. We are south of the Mason-Dixon line. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. So yes, technically right. we are south. All right. All right. I, I don't think that counts, but whatever. That's that's fine. Beg to differ. You you do you boo. That's fine. But now we've got snow again on the way tonight. It is. It was 60 degrees today, and they are predicting that we are supposed to get anywhere between three to five inches tonight. Yeah, I'm about to owe Grandma another quarter if you say what temperature it was today again. Just knock it off. Don't, don't, don't you dare. I won't. It was don't, 57 I, up here. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> there no. you go. There you go. No. I'll do one of those for you. No. <laughs> no. I'm going to get great grandma's great grandma Richmond's crooked finger at you. Don't knock it off. Ah. Okay. Anyways. Stop. <laughs> that wasn't me. I know it wasn't. It, it totally was Alice. Oh, jerk. Blame blame Canada. Uh, can- oh, blame Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. We man. love your bacon too. It's hey, man. Right. It's yeah, it's it's Canadian Canadian bacon. They're Damn, they're like man. they're like these, aren't they? Mm-hmm. It's ham. They don't turn that way no more. <laughs> I try so hard, it does not work. It does not work. Mm. So what's your good story there, PT? <sighs> so Sunday, mm-hmm. last week, we got snow. And it came in Saturday night, and we had all kinds of plans of, you know, we got to do what we got to do to make sure uh, we got the snow plan in place for church. Well, we woke up that morning with about two and a half on everything, but it was slush. So really there was no shovel in it. This was, you know, push it as best you can wherever you can in order to get out on the road. So we got out and we got to the core and we still did Sunday school and we still did uh, in worship service and we offered it all online. That was great. But before all that, when we got down to the core and for those in the know or not in the know, we call our church, our core C O R P S. Um, but we got there and we've got one of those trucks with a snow plow and I got down there early enough to, you know, start the thing up and clear the lot so that my people could walk in safely into the building. Well, I get there and plow is in the downward position. It's in the ground and I turn the truck over and everything fires up and I turn the little handle on to uh, operate the plow and uh, it's a no go on that plow, gentlemen. Oh no! Was it frozen to the ground? No, sir. the The plow itself was no longer responding to the handle to the controls. I was say, is an electrical issue or a hydraulic issue? That's exactly what I was trying to ascertain. So the everything I found online is it's an electrical thing. It's an electrical situation. So you turn the controller on immediately when you try and press a button to make. Uh, stuff go up and down, the controller turns off. Then you've got to unplug everything, plow from the truck, uh, controller from the truck, turn the truck off, put it all back on, turn the, the, the truck on, turn the controller on, try it again, and it dies. So I got an electrician here and a guy who knows a bunch about hydraulics. Uh, I might need to take you guys down there on a FaceTime and just say, okay. Show me what's up because I'm I'm I need to check fuses. I need to check. I was gonna say the, your yeah. first. My first step would be let's look at your fuses and see if you've got one that's failing. Okay. Because yeah. if it's if it's overloading, it's it's shutting itself down because of it. Right. Well, also if your fuse blew, you have an open in the system, so that would make sense as soon as you engage the arm to bring everything up or down. Uh huh. You know if you have hydraulic pressure you're fine that means that you know everything should go but as soon as you activate that so look at the fuses in that circuit okay uh they should be labeled like if you open up your fuse panel it should be on the door uh it'll tell you you know which one does what okay uh i would replace those first and there should be spare fuses like down on the bottom right of that okay if not you can usually find them in AutoZone. For like two bucks. Now, are yeah, we talking know. fuses on the, the lift itself, or are we talking fuses inside the truck? Depends on where it hooks in. Is like all of your actuation inside the truck itself? No, it's it connects to the front end, and then it's got uh, umbilicals that go in through the, the engine block mm-hmm. and connect to the battery and also to uh, the controller in the in the cab. 
Okay, that makes it easier then. So there's going to be usually like one or two fuses. Um, they're usually like connected wire to wire. So you have, um, they're small, they're metal on either side, and then they have glass in the middle. So you, you actually see the filament on the inside of the fuse. Okay. Um, they're usually really small, like two to eight amps, nothing too big. Um, and those are really easy to replace. And then there may be uh, extras in there. And then if not, literally just take it to AutoZone and they'll drop you the right ones. Because it's the same ones that they use in my boat. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. I would start, I'd tell you right now, PT, start with fuses. Like, find find where the fuses are in there. And Alex, Alex hit it right on the head. They're probably... Like I was going to say, they're probably separate from the truck because most of the time those systems, like you got a plow attached to a vehicle, mm -hmm. it's not integrated into the truck. It It's usually a separate system that, you know, it pulls, it's got power coming off of the battery, you know, okay. it's, so it's, it's, that's where it gets its juice from. Okay. So so look there and see i i check there and start with to see if those fuse boxes or fuse lines are somewhere coming off of the battery and then if they're not there they're probably somewhere in the cab coming off of one of those lines okay. to the control system all right but start with start with fuses and then if it's not that then you're gonna then it gets interesting yeah yeah, they were talking, they being online, they were talking that it might be the, um, shoot, whatever makes the the hydraulics do their stuff. Um, the control, the control board, like, are like the, 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 the com essentially the computer, like the brains. Right, but it, not that, it was the actual valves themselves, the. Uh, oh, the solenoid. Thank you, the solenoids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> You know, the, the thing, it does the thing thing. The thing, the, yeah. The, the, thing. the switches. So those things are basically just magnets, um, which is kind of nice because they'll either build a magnetic field or drop a magnetic field depending on, you know, whether they have power or not. Okay. And if they're not getting power, then it's a fuse, right? Because if there's a ground in there somewhere where it's not working and it blew that fuse, gave you an overload condition, mm -hmm. that fuse is saving your battery. That's what allows you to turn the truck on. Okay. So that's your electrical disconnect. So I, I would try that. Try that first. Try the fuse? Try the fuse first. Okay. And then worst case it, scenario, maybe it's a solenoid that might be a little pricey, depending. Yeah. Well, they said 10 to 20 bucks online, but we'll see. That's yeah. not bad. No. You always try hitting it with a hammer. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like it. Don't. You think I'm joking. I'm no. dead serious. Mechanical <laughs> agitation. It works. What? <laughs> yeah, some yeah. sometimes those solenoids get stuck, and you need to uh, you need to give it a little bit of motivation. Yep. And uh, a hammer works swimmingly. What'd you call that? Mechanical what? Mechanical agitation. Mechanical agitation. Ag agitation. That's that nuke. Yeah. That's that nuke. Fancy fancy lingo for yeah. you. I wouldn't hit it with a hammer because you might break it. I would hit it with something that's softer than it. So if you got a rolling pin, I'd hit it with that. <laughs> or if you got a rubber mallet, I'd hit it with that. Got it. Dead blow. Yeah, because you know I I carry a, a rolling pin in my back pocket all the time. Oh really? I got all right the here. time, dude. Like, if you pull up a rolling no. pin. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That was good. Now I'm like gonna it. giggle. I've got uh, I've I've got a uh an alpha club. Not not right here though. Unfortunately, it's upstairs. I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank as to what an alpha club is. Yeah, I got no Well, idea. they they call it an alpha club. It's it's uh like think like Last of the Mohicans. Okay. Um club with, you know, it's a curved club with a giant ball on the top with a metal oh, you got point a, on it. You got a Tuscan Raider staff. That's yeah, what well, we're sort talking of about. sort yeah. of yeah. Har, so, har, har, har. <laughs> that, need that sound sunlight. needs to be kept. <laughs> that was perfect. We need it. Uh, that that was without any kind of uh, practice either. So mm. thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. 
Yeah. Right. <laughs> Gosh, that was funny. Yeah, no, start start with that PT. I mean, if you if you're like, have you picked the? You know when you're gonna go and start messing with it? Uh, probably tomorrow after worship. Okay. Because oh, we've got. Yeah, more... I'll say. Give us. Give me a shout. Thank you. Yeah, we've got more snow coming this way. Like actual snow, not your inch garbage that you're like, oh, we're gonna shut things down. <laughs> Three five inches. Dusting. Dusting. That's Dusting. right. What up? <laughs> salt day. Oh man. It's that, it's that salt it's that salt day. It's that sauce. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Greg and I mm. should be together tomorrow, so you got two heads in one that can help you out. I love it. That's awesome. Fingers crossed. We're gonna see what the roads are like here yeah. tomorrow. Figure the weather first. Don't don't plan nothing big. Speaking of planning though, you've you've got the meats. I went looking. Um, I don't think we're going to do brisket. That's a long process. Mainly because of the rain. Mm. We're supposed to get rain most of the day tomorrow. I got you. I do have brats, so I can mm. do that. Brats are nice. Uh, brats are always fantastic. And then, worst case scenario, if I got like two hours on my hands, we may do some smoked chicken wings. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of errands tomorrow morning just to see what we can find. Um, I gotta go get two more fish, and then my fish life will be complete for a little bit. Respectable. Yeah, but in and amongst those errands, I think we're gonna swing by somewhere and get um, something else for dinner tomorrow as well. Cool. Very cool. But, yeah. So uh, we don't we don't have any plans. We're we're here at the house. No uh, no big parties because Doctor Doctor Fauci said we shouldn't. So he he called it a in my mother's words our mother's words a, a super spreader, and so uh, a, super a super spreader, and so we're gonna avoid because Doctor Fauci said so. So mom, that's mm. for you. Love you much. We love you. That's awesome. Yeah. We're going to keep it small. It'll maybe be just five. It's a good number. It's a good number. Five is a good number. Five is a good number. It's less than ten. I think the animals will outnumber us in this house. Mm, well, that'd be if we brought the dogs down. Well, maybe, yeah. They're more welcome to. Noted. Liz says yes. But what? what about you, Boyo? What's uh you had duty this week? Uh no, I had Are nights you... this week. Oh. Yeah. I put in just this week. Um probably about ninety five hours. Give or Yikes. take. Yikes. Holy cow, in one week. Oh, no, that's yeah. gross. Dude, did you go so, home? For a little bit. And then I turned around and went back. So we had 12 hour days, right? How many hours are in a week? We're asking Siri. <laughs> 168. Holy cow. Yep. So we had 12 hour days, um, but you know how that goes. You go in early, you do what you have to do, and then you come home. Um, so I routinely got home after midnight. Uh, and I got there at work probably before 11, mm. um, and mm. did everything I could do, you know? Went and did a whole lot of maintenance, uh, pushed a whole lot of projects that Shipyard wants to do, and, uh, probably saw my family for about an hour total, so, yeah. The job's become high maintenance, buddy. Well, luckily, I'm, I'm back this week on regular shift, so I'm back to three-section duty again. Okay. Yay. Uh, I got duty on Monday. Okay. And then Thursday and then Sunday. So, again, Sunday we will not be on Twitch. It'll right. probably be Saturday again. Right. So if anybody's looking for us, it'll be Saturday. 
Saturday. In my life? No, in the park. In, in my park. park. I think it was the 4th of July. I think it was the 4th of July. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> See, when we sing it, we don't get uh, copyright violated. Or, yeah, it's sanctioned, or whatever you call it. Something. I don't vaccinated. Know. I have no idea. What is it vaccinated? called? Vaccinated? Va- vaccination. 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 Everybody sing start, along! You start singing something like that, and I start giggling, and all I can think of is Peter Dinklage singing Space Pants. <laughs> I haven't heard Gwen, that one. With Gwen Stefani. Oh, it's on SNL a couple oh, years okay. ago. Um, this is like height of Game of Thrones. And uh, Peter Dinklage hosted SNL that night. And uh, he came out. They, they did this They did this sketch. Uh, it's like a couple mobsters at a, like a, like a nightclub thing. And they're talking about whacking a guy or something. I, like, like the one guy's like thinking he's, he's, he's probably about to get you know, fed to the fishes. And Peter Dinklage is the music uh, entertainment for the evening. And he comes out on stage in these garishly bright, ridiculous pants. Pants. That are covered in, you know, they have planets and stars and everything else on them. And he starts singing this stupid song. And the in, really the only words in it are space pants <laughs> <laughs> and and he's doing like these like robot moves and you know look at my pants they are in space and gwen stefani comes out and starts singing with him what? and yeah the the guys are like the guys are like why what are you not seeing what's going on right now like Gwen Stefani's on stage and she's singing about space pants. It's it's one of those the humor doesn't really make sense, but as you watch it more and more, it, it gets funnier. <laughs> definitely, definitely worth a... I'll send so a link to it. If I YouTube it and only watch it once and not laugh, it's it'll get better next time? No, it's, it's Greg's one, fault. I uh, just blame it. Blame can well again, blame Canada. Oh Canada. Well yeah. So only other good other piece of news that really happened this week is um we got the big tank boys. Got the mm. big tank. So the, the big, big fish tank. can drive the big tank. Yeah. Pew pew pew. It's actually pretty great. Sent you guys a picture earlier, and I'll, I'll throw this up on uh, the old YouTubers, I guess. Hold on. I got stuff on the screen. I like YouTubers. Who doesn't like... I... So, let's see if I can get that. Uh... No, nope, I can't. I'm blue. Da ba dee ba da da Yeah, what's up with da-ba-dee. that, boy? Why is, why is your... Why does your screen or your 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 tank look like um, so um it's, it's sad. The guy no, it's not sad. It's a it's sad a, tank. It's, it's a sad tank. It's not a sad <laughs> tank. So sad the, tank's sad <laughs> tank's sad. I don't like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go, so, man, go. It looks You're blue right. in pictures, right? Right, like, yeah. It looks blue, okay? It's not actually blue. It's just the light that hits the water and it refracts at a, you know, certain angle, right? That makes uh, everything look blue. It refracts it. blue. Reflects blue. Essentially. For him? For him. Smiling Bob. Anyway. Um, what? <laughs> Did, oh, did Greg ever tell you that story? No. So, all right, all right. So it is kid-friendly, I promise you. Okay. 
so we're in marching band, right? That's right, too. Yep. And we're we're going through, and uh, old Coach Willoughby is up there on the the scissor forklift, and he's you know talking all these weird things and anecdotal things that he normally does. And then he decides to start trying to name random things that we as a marching band are sponsored by. And he goes through all the normals, like, you know, Sears, Macy's for the Macy's Day Parade, which we never got invited to. Oh. Um, and he's going through and he's starting to, to lose his train of thought on sponsorships. And the drum instructor is an awesome dude by the name of Life, Life Marweed. No shoot. Like... His, his name was Life. Uh, it wasn't spelled Life, it was like L-E-I-F. But Life is standing down there, and he looks up, because he's at the bottom of the scissor lift, and he yells up, Enzite. And, no joke, Willby announces that out to the entire marching band of another sponsor, and then he stops, and he realizes what happened, and looks down. And for some reason, life was not back that next year. I don't know why. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, never heard that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, I guess oh. it was one of those you had to be there for it. <laughs> but, yeah, good times. But anyway, they look blue, but they're not, right? So, I've got blue in the bottom of that one. I've got black in the bottom of that one. And then the one downstairs has black substrate. Uh, it's got like a half-sunken ship in it. Uh, it's got like a little pirate cove with treasure down there. Um, it's got a skull that the fish can swim through. And I've got a volcano that's coming. Yeah, I like the skull. That was a pretty cool part. Yeah. So the fish can actually get in and out. There's a hole back in the back that they can like swim into and swim out. Can be nice. We're going out to our favorite aquarium store tomorrow morning and getting the final two goldfish for everything to be perfect. Sweet. Yep. We Is have... that like, what do they call it? What's the name of the store again? Nova? No. Is that the place? Uh, Aquariums Unlimited. Okay. LLC. And they're fantastic out there, dude. Like, they have everything. It's pretty great. But two of the fish, um, well, you guys remember Mad-Eye Moody, the black oh, moor yeah. with the, the telescopic eyes? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I need another one of those in my life. Because, honestly, you have the Golden Trio and Voldemort. So you need a Mad-Eye Moody. And then they sell big goldfish. Like, they're considered, quote, large. So I'm going to get one of the large ones, so he's always bigger than the other three. Oh, no kidding. And he's going to be Hagrid. Hagrid, yep. yeah. There's going. Nice. Yeah, and then we'll give the downstairs tank a little bit to go through its cycles, get the filter ready, and then all the goldfish are moving down there. It's going to be awesome. They're going to the big tank. Oh, dude, give them a bunch of room to run around, to play with. You know, it's more at a height for Caroline, so, you know, she can actually see them. It's exciting. Where is that... Where is that tank at downstairs? To the dining room. Nice. Mm -hmm. Up against the wall where the bench is on the bench side. Okay. So you guys were able to, what, once everything kind of cleared out, you pulled it, <clears throat> pulled the dining room over a little bit? Just a little bit. I like it. So, yeah. Sweet. It's nice. I like it. I'm excited. Can't wait to see it in person one day. Yeah, man. You gotta come down. We gotta do brisket while you're down here. It's true. Yeah. Either Thanks. he needs to cook it, either he needs to smoke it, or I need to. Or some venison? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'll do venison for you. Now we're talking. Yeah. Is there a... Will your family eat it, or will, they... will we have to, we'll have to make something else? Uh, it's, it's beef. It's beef. Okay. It's beef. It. it's beef. It tastes like beef. It ta it's what's for dinner. Like, you won't know the difference. It's beef tenderloin. Meh. But if yeah, they no, listen to no. this, then 
they will know. So, I could tell. I mean, I, I see. It's not hard. I just tell them, like, yeah, no, I'm making beef tenderloin. Mom's the word, mom, ma'am, then, ma'am, then, mom, 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 mommy, mommy. Speaking of <clears throat> mother. <laughs> Uh, speaking speaking of uh our our favorite uh other other uh meat product there i found out venison oh thank you friday that one of my coworkers. now this is th- i find this fascinating he won't eat it why won't try like like i i didn't i didn't he never came out and said it out right until till friday like so i brought you know venison jerky into the office and my my boss our boss uh you know makes his own jerky as well and you know he hunts and and whatnot and so you know he brings that stuff in and he would not eat it. And I didn't really think too much about it. It was just like, you know, okay, you know, Vasquez doesn't want it, whatever. Well, I brought some in on Friday that I had made earlier in the week. Um, I made a bunch. I had a couple tenderloins, a couple big ones that I cooked because I needed to get some out of the fridge. And so I did. And so I brought a big piece in for lunch with some asparagus that I had made. And I was like, you know, do you want, do you want some? Cause like, you know, this is, this is the good stuff. And he's like, no, nah, I don't want it. Like straight up refused. And then finally he told me, told me straightforward. He's like, he's like, he's like, I can't, it's just, in his mind, he's like, it's, it's, it's a wild animal and it's gross. You know, like the idea of like it's something that you killed, and then you cooked it and you ate it. Wow! So he'll eat he'll eat beef, he'll eat chicken, so long as like he's like he's like you know I won't he's like you know if you, if you were to like you know you had like a chicken and you went out and you killed a chicken, and then cooked it, I wouldn't eat it. But. You know, any any sort of like game animal, you know, duck, uh, like wild duck, uh, venison. Um, he's like, yeah, I won't, I won't eat it. And that that blew my mind. I yeah. thought that was crazy. So I don't know. Do you guys either? You guys have like a someone you work with, or nope. you ever heard of that? No, I mean, no, <laughs> I don't. Nope. Nope. Dude's making me want some squirrel now. Oh. You know, I, I got a guy I used to work with. He, he was crazy about squirrel. The hard part about it is you got to, you got to cook it the right way. Cause it's, it can be a very tough meat. Yeah, I can hear. I can understand that. I wouldn't mind smoking squirrel. I think that'd be fun. Yeah, I bet that would probably turn out really well if you marinated it properly and then and then did it low and slow enough mm-hmm. that it would turn out. I think it'd be pretty good. I'd have a hard time getting other people to eat it, but right, I'm down. Right. It's, it's just it's rabbit. What are you talking about? Yeah, you rabbit, oh, dude. The guy that we got the fish tank from today, no joke, was like, "Hey, I got some rabbits. Do you guys want those? I mean, you can have them for free. Just trying to get rid of them." I'm like, "No." What? Yeah, that's crazy. Facebook man. <laughs> He'd be like, "Um, no, because I'll eat them." I don't think he would have cared. <laughs> he just wanted to get him out, huh? He wanted to get rid of him. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, no, we're good. Thanks. Have a nice day. Gosh. 
All right, flash question. You got it, man. Fire yeah. away. Who do you think's gonna win? Oh come what? on! No 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 no, no 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 no. This is this is off subject. I've got another question. Oh, but this is <laughs> this is just this is just a quick flash question. Who do you think's gonna win and why? Uh, Amazon. Good plan. Because they've got the best commercials so far, from what I've heard. All right. Boyo. Why you gotta ask me that, man? Because <laughs> he wants to hate on you too. <laughs> are you pulling? Are you pulling for the Bucks? <laughs> Do you got some money riding on this one? No. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. No, I'm not that dumb. But yes, I do believe that the Bucks can pull it out. Fascinating. Fascinating. Greg? If in my all right, so here's here's my thought process on it. If Tom Brady plays like he did last week, he miffed it. He did not have a good game. Um, the only reason that they won was because <laughs> the Bucks' defense was on point, and they 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 saved his bacon on more than one occasion, hmm. and gave him the opportunities you know the few opportunities that he had to actually make something happen. Um, Okay. You know, I, I just I don't know. I don't see him coming in. You know, who knows? I might be wrong. If he comes in and he he plays like we've seen him in the past, you know, without cheating. <laughs> Deflate gate. Zing. Um no, no, it was more of a womp. Womp. Maybe. But um No, I think uh I think Kansas Kansas City's got the edge. And I think they're going to give him. I think they're going to give him a run for the money. Interesting. So, all right. One of the major reasons why they didn't win last year is because the Patriots did not have Gronk. Plain and simple. Sonny Sonny Michelle had a fantastic game. Right, the defense played very well. Tom Brady did very well. The problem is. The X factor for the Patriots was not Tom Brady; it was Rob Gronkowski. The fact and that you this, think, and you think the Brady, the Brady, the Brady Gronk duo, I think, leading the Tampa Bay bunk of, Tampa Bay is going to make the, all the difference this year. I think that's going to make a difference. I think Evan Harris is going to make a difference, and I really think Leonard Fournette is going to make a difference. Plus, on top of that, the Bucks still have Antonio Brown. He is still going to play. So you have arguably for the last five years the best wide receiver in the, the entire league. Plus one of the top five quarterbacks of all time. Plus Rob Gronkowski, which is still to this date holds most of the tight end records. And then you have Leonard Fournette, which that man is a truck. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. And then he's just, he's just a truck. If if you're out there and you have Antonio Brown on one side and you have Evan Harris on the other, you know, who are you going to guard? You're going to force okay. him to go man-to-man. -man. You know, the outside safety is going to have to play close because there's nobody that's going to be gov er, covering Gronk. So you have now just taken away the Chiefs' main ability of covering anybody they have to cover the spread and while they're all doing that tom's just gonna hand the ball off to leonard fournette and be like go for it buddy and that's it dude i think it's i think i think i like i could see the bucks doing much more of a passing game this year or this this game than 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 in past so you also have to remember that it's the first Super Bowl ever where one of the teams is playing in their hometown. Right. But how many people are actually attending the game? 
And how much of a difference is that going to make? Pretty sure quite a few. Yeah. It's the Super Bowl, dude. It is the biggest money opportunity the NFL has with ads and yep. with seats. Yep. Yep. In the words of Dr. Fauci, Fauci. Yep, Fauci. It, it's going to be a super spreader. It will be a super spreader. Womp womp. Womp womp. Womp womp. Just say. All right. Now, All right. legitimate Let's... question. We're not going to go we're not going to go hardcore deep tonight, boys. Um but I think it's I think it's a like I've never asked either of you guys this, so I I'm interested to see what your answers are. Mm. Um we were talking about venison and it kind of ties into this the fact that we're I think we're all foodies. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I yep. love food. Yeah, Boyo Boyo's looking down at his belly. Yep. Um we are mm. all we are all foodies and you know, God bless mom and dad for really trying to introduce us to a lot of good different food. foods. Yes. Um, so I want to ask you guys, and, and you can be a favorite dish or, you know, preferably I'd like to hear what your actual like favorite style of food. Like what is like for you guys, like what is your go-to? Like I, when you have the opportunity to go out to eat and you know, mm. we haven't gotten that, that opportunity recently because of COVID or at the very least it's been really limited. So when you guys go out to eat, if you have the choice, where do you want to go and why? Man, that what was kind of a... food? What kind of food do you want? That was a lot of questions in one. Like I don't know where to start. Um, home food, like growing up, home food, food that I have adopted and made my own family's uh, home food now uh, would definitely have to be. Uh, pork chops in uh mushroom gravy mm -hmm. over rice um anything meat and potatoes anything everything meat and potatoes uh i prefer uh mashed and really good mashed potatoes mm -hmm. um so if if we were going to go out and eat somewhere um i would prefer a good steakhouse Okay. Uh and and not like a high hoity toity kind of steakhouse like a Ruth Chris or something like that. Even Longhorn I think is a little expensive for my taste. But uh yeah, give me a Texas Roadhouse or a Logan's or, you know, something along those lines that I can get a plethora of of different foods. That's that's my go-to. Um mm -hmm. I I'll crave Chinese every once in a while or I'll crave, you know, a good pizza. But if if there was something that I had to sit down and eat just about every other day, it good steak and potatoes, meat and potatoes, protein potatoes, it doesn't matter. Okay. Boyo. <laughs> He's rolling up his sleeves, ladies and gentlemen. Sleeves up. <laughs> Ready to go. That's Let's right. get this. All right. So when it comes to to home style stuff. Literally, as Patrick was saying it, he said mine. Mom's crock pot pork chops in cream of mushroom soup with rice. Yep. Hands down. Yep. Absolutely hands down. Um, stuff that I think we actually had that last week. No <laughs> joke. Nice. Like, yeah. We did it's, too. It's, <laughs> it's, it's the one thing. It's the one staple that we're just like, you know, it's good. It's really good, and it's really easy. Yeah. You know, all you do is just set it and forget it. It's great. And then you make rice. And quite honestly, rice is so easy. You put it in a saucepan or in a, a pot. You put some water in there, put a little salt in there. You let it boil, and then you let it simmer for 15 minutes. I made rice in my Instapot for the first time the other day, PT. Pretty fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's that's where it's at right mm -hmm. there. Have you done jasmine yet? Not yet. You need Try to do jasmine. jasmine. Just jasmine just... in your Instapot. Okay. It's glorious. But um, I've also grown up around the meat and potatoes. 
and quite honestly, I have been drawn to, to barbecue most specifically for that nice. stuff. Nice. Um, but I'm not limiting it just to like traditional barbecue, right? Like Korean barbecue. Mm. If, oh. if I have the opportunity, right, then we have the ability to go. Most places do like a $25 per person all you can eat. Mm -hmm. And I will sit there for two hours and I will eat all I can. I am not kidding. I've never had it before. Never had it's, Korean barbecue. It's, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's really good. It, yep. is, it is ridiculously good. The, the no. next time we... Is live. that the one where you have like a meat thing or yeah. a, uh, a heat plate in yeah. front of you? And you cook yeah. your food yourself? Never done it. Yeah. yeah. So it's a toss up for me in between that, right? Liz is, is having a conniption fit behind me, by the way, because she can't believe you've never had Korean barbecue. Um, but no joke, literally either that or if I can find it, and I've only found it twice, authentic Japanese ramen. Mm. Okay. Like egg yeah. noodles, you know, and it has some, kind of the some of kind of the same elements when it comes to meats that you put in there. Okay. Uh, but like flank steak that they put in there, um, the best one I have ever had, and I'm, I'm actually spoiled because I I haven't found it since. Uh, there's a place in here in Norfolk that literally sells it and it's um oxtail ramen yep i've heard of that oh my goodness yeah it's like if i could eat that every day of the week i would eat that every day wow. of the week wow um it's absolutely fantastic absolutely absolutely fantastic so toss up in between korean barbecue and authentic japanese ramen okay Noted. All right, so you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, boy, right, oh, I get, I get where you're coming. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. I, I love Korean food. Uh, I love barbecue as a whole. Um, at home, um, my, my, my favorite. Like, I am a sucker for it uh, because it is, you know. One of my favorite home cooked food. I love meatloaf. Oh, right. I absolutely love meatloaf. I right. I love eating it like meatloaf with mashed potatoes and yes. green beans. Yes, come on. Like I'm getting hungry just talking about it. <laughs> just uh, as long you know, as it's like panko breadcrumbs for the the binder and not like. Raisin bran without the raisins taken out. Yeah, that was, that was or gross. Cheerios. Who made that? Mother-in-law. Ah. Yeah. That's that's gross. Noted. Don't trust it. No. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is this gummy? Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> yep. Meatloaf. Meatloaf looking kind of sus. <laughs> that's a no. That's a no from me. That's a hard pass. Uh, Appreciate it. But yeah, uh, meatloaf is one of, if not my absolute, when it comes to if I, you know, home cooked meal. Liz hasn't stopped laughing since meatloaf kind of sus, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good line. Meatloaf acting kind of sus. <laughs> if, if I go out to eat, the and i don't know where it started if it was just my experience living in san diego um it kind of well i guess it would kind of it really kind of started in san diego probably so we growing up growing up yeah you know i'm going with this authentic uh -huh. authentic mexican food yep there it is so when we lived you know growing up you know we went to uh you guys remember going to like tumbleweed Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, right? Yeah, in Owensboro? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we used to, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. you know, if y'all don't know, we, when we lived in Owensboro, 
Um, there was a. Yeah, no, it wasn't a laughing. Mexican restaurant. What? She's still laughing. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm that funny. That makes me feel good. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad I'm that funny. <laughs> but no, authentic, authentic Mexican. And the reason why, because again, you know, we I got a taste for that style of food when we lived in, you know, growing up. But but what I realized after the fact, now looking back on it, was it was Tex Mex. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. that is that is Tex Mex. Um I got a chance to get something to eat from a place here in here in uh Fredericksburg the other the other day. Um the name of the restaurant is uh soup and taco, etc. And it's it's a mom and pop shop, hole in the wall, local place. And gentlemen, they do like legit Mexican style street tacos. Nice. And they do them with like fried pork belly and barbacoa. Um, they serve them on, you know, they serve them with, you know, double wrapped in two corn tortillas. Uh-huh. Holy cow. I'd, Cilantro, I'd, lime, all that stuff. I had, I had forgotten. Yeah, and like the, the barbacoa had uh, like a, a fresh cut radish on top, like, you know, radish slices on it. Wow. Um, I forgot how much because i i haven't had that in a while i had like i've you know i've had some tex-mex you know there was stuff when i lived up in 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 utica but like a legit this is what if i was down in you know mexico city or whatever to find you know the the real deal and i swear i thought i died and went to heaven um (laughs) It wow. was just, it was so good. Nice. Uh, so yeah, so I'm a sucker for it. If 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 someone's like, yeah, I found a place that does like real real Mexican food. Bet that's where we're going to eat. Like hands down, I I I will never turn down authentic Mexican food. I love it. Good to know, it's man. So stinking good. So yeah, so that's my that's my must. I like it. Nice curl there, Alex. Thank you. Yeah, you have, a, you have a Superman going on there, Boyle. Working hard, man. Looks good. So, gentlemen, I've been dying to ask you this question. Send it. Yes. How do how do ghosts listen to music? Uh they. Put a little boogie in it. With Bluetooth. Bluetooth. <laughs> I'm re- I'm reading a horror story in Braille. Something bad is about to happen. I can I can it feel it. <laughs> my my wife asked me to sink her phone, so I threw it in the ocean. I don't know why she's mad at me. Uh, uh, uh-huh. uh. <laughs> uh, I dreamt last night that I was swimming in an ocean full of orange soda. Then I woke up and realized it was just a fantasy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Here's a good one. What do you uh. call 50? What do you call 50 pigs and 50 deer? Hundred bucks. Fifty pigs and fifty deer. One hundred one hundred thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Good play on words there. Uh wah, wah. Of all the inventions in the last 100 years, the dry erase board has to be the most remarkable. (laughs) Remarkable. 
Why do bees stay in their beehive all through the winter? Because it's cold out. Bees are hibernating. They're swarm. 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 Speaking of speaking of bees, so a man walks into an apiary and asks the beekeeper for a dozen beer, a dozen bees, to which the beekeeper replies, "Sure," and I'll throw in the thirteenth as a freebie. Ha <laughs> ha, freebie. <laughs> you know, we all know about Murphy's law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Right. Have you heard of Cole's law? Yeah. Yes, I have. It goes great with barbecue. <laughs> it's thinly sliced cabbage. <laughs> Cole's law. Cole. Yeah. Cole's. <laughs> I think Alex is tired, y'all. So oh, police okay, arrested. Guys. So police arrested a bottle of water because it was wanted in three different states. Solid, liquid, and gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. My wife kicked me out because of my terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll return. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, that was funny. <laughs> My son told me he didn't understand cloning. I told him that makes two of us. Mm -hmm. Dad asks, Would you like anything to eat for dinner? Son says, What are my choices? Dad says, Yes or no. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good one. <laughs> So I got hit in the head with a with a diet coke today. Uh oh. Don't worry, it was a soft drink. Uh. I think we've already said this one, but I have a Russian friend who's a sound engineer, and a check one two, and a check one two. <laughs> All right, can February March? No, but April May. April May. April May. Yeah. So dad, dad, dad walks into a restaurant. Hostess asks, "Do you have reservations?" Dad responds, "No, but I'm confident I want to eat here." <laughs> Alex, you got one more. Without a doubt, my favorite Robin Williams movie is Mrs. Fire. Wait, what? Without a doubt, oh. my favorite Robin Williams movie. <laughs> Is Mrs. Fire. <laughs> and that, friends, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much tonight. We have had a fantastic evening. We've done through, done through. We've done, 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 done through. We, we done, 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 we done, we done did the done do. We, we, done, we done, done, done with the diet, with the diet do. Da 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 dun. Uh, we've done it. And it's it's good. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We are your brothers in arms. You can check us out on twitch.tv slash brothers in arms podcast. You can find this show among many others uh, of the, the the video, the the visual part of us talking to each other on YouTube at brothers in arms podcast. That's all one word. Uh, and you can also get this podcast anywhere podcasts are put out, sold. Uh, distributed, given away for free uh, with a smile and a handshake. Uh, so please, come on, check us out. We'd love to have you. Join us anytime you can. Uh, also, you can find out when we're going to go live on Twitter, and you can follow us at Your BIA Podcast. Uh, so that covers all of the laundry list of fun things we got to say at the end of the show. Always. Uh, always, and... Forever will be. Greg, anything to say before we go? Yay, sports. Yay. Go sports. Sports, sports. We're we're such sports fans. Yes. No, just just go sport. Oh, go sport. Okay. Very good. 
I'm a sports fan. Yeah, obviously, you guys could put on a show yourselves of how well you spoke about all that stuff. I was on my phone. <laughs> Boyo, Boyo knows all the knows ev- it has 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 the working knowledge. He actually can like rattle off players and Boyo knows, or yeah. as we like to used to say in the nineties, Bo knows. Wow. Bo knows baseball. Bo knows sports. So Bo knows. go sports. Go sports. sports. Alex, anything to finish? Drink water, change your socks, take motor. Oh, very good. I did that this week. Oh, I pulled, <laughs> I, I pulled out my back. Oh no! And I went to I went to Doc. I went to Doc. Guess what he gave me? Motrin. Yep. Here's and a clean pi- pair of socks. <laughs> here's some horse. Here's some horse pills. Drink. Drink some water, bro. And yes. if it's still hurting in a couple of days, then we'll we'll change schedule you for change your socks. That's right. So, awesome. Yeah, man. Well, uh, I'll tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, enjoy the game tomorrow. Uh, participate together responsibly. Uh, Amen. In other words, uh, be be socially distant, but check on each other, love each other during this time. Um, I got to talk with mom and dad last night for a good long while, and that was mm. that was that did me some good uh, for my heart and for my soul. And so, um, so yeah, check on each other because it's very very important. Because if you don't, who will? So, check on each other. Make uh, make it uh, intentional and uh, laugh, laugh a lot because it it really does your heart a lot of good. So, boys, I love you. It's been a great evening. Thank you so much. Thanks for making tonight happen, guys. Love you too, bro. Love you too, man. Anytime. Awesome. Anytime. Always. So, y'all be good, and we'll uh, we'll see you next week, probably on Saturday again. Um, okay. I might be on the road. Um, you might not see me as much, but you'll definitely hear my voice. And I might even have a, a partner in crime with me on that trip. So, oh, we could do Monday. Monday. We could do Monday. That'll make things interesting to to write um, writing show notes. Yeah, show notes for yeah. So I I have the responsibility, family, of doing the show notes, and so. Um, yeah, that that would be kind of interesting trying to figure that one out. You know what? I might have him drive during that. Ooh. <laughs> here's here's thinking. Yeah. So, awesome. All right, guys. Love you very much. Y'all take care, and we'll talk at you soon. Love you too, bro. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.